DuPont Innovation lowers LCOE by increasing cell efficiencies and system lifetime while reducing total system cost. Materials matter. Hello and welcome to the program. Coming up this week, Global module revenues forecast to surpass 7 billion US dollars in 2013. Panasonic pulls Malaysian PV production plant expansions. MX Group unveils plans for one gigawatt of PV projects across Serbia. The PV module market should return to profitability in the third quarter of 2013, according to a new report from market researchers IHS iSupply. Revenues of the module industry that dropped throughout 2012 are predicted to bottom out in the first quarter of next year. From then on, a recovery is anticipated, and by the fourth quarter, revenue is expected to spring back to an estimated 7.06 billion US dollars though still significantly less than in the boom year of 2010, when quarterly module revenues exceeded 10 billion US dollars in Q3 and Q4. After flattening in the third quarter this year, global PV installations are forecast to grow slightly in the fourth quarter to 8.7 gigawatts, bringing the annual total to more than 31 gigawatts, up 11% from 28 gigawatts of installations in 2011. Mounting losses and a dash to cut costs across all operations has led to Panasonic halting further capital expenditure and expansion plans indefinitely at its new PV module plant in Malaysia. The recently opened plant will retain its 300 megawatt annual capacity compared to plans to more than double that output. Releasing its Q2 2013 financial results, Panasonic confirmed that it expected a significant fall in demand for its HIT modules in the second half of the year, primarily due to weakening demand across Europe. But demand in domestic Japanese market is projected to continue growing. Having recently reported analysis from market research firm MPD SolarBuzz that the PV equipment market was experiencing an historic negative book-to-bill ratio, the first signs of the sector reacting to this condition are filtering through. GT Advanced Technologies said it would undergo major restructuring in response to poor market conditions by streamlining its worldwide operations, which included a workforce reduction of approximately 25%. The company said it would also consolidate existing business units into a single crystal growth systems group with various divisional heads now all reporting to its CEO, Tom Gutierrez. In related news, Singulus Technologies said that it would reduce its workforce at its solar division by 40% on the back of reporting preliminary third quarter sales of 43.3 million euros. But continued weak demand from PV manufacturers meant the company was projecting full-year losses of between 54 and 56 million euros. Another PV equipment supplier, Amtec Systems, pre-released preliminary full-year results for 2012 on the back of expected heavy losses and equipment final acceptance delays. Amtec said that it expected to report revenue of 81.5 million US dollars for the full year, down from record revenue of 247 million US dollars in 2011. Further cost measures have been implemented. Moving downstream but staying with quarterly financial results, PV inverter manufacturer Power One has seen its global market share go from 11% at the end of 2011 to 13% so far this year, according to market research firm IHS. The share growth comes on the back of the company reporting net sales of 284 million US dollars for the third quarter, with its renewable energy solutions segment contributing 216 million US dollars in revenue. The company said that for the first nine months of 2012, it had shipped 2.9 gigawatts, an increase of 42% over the same period last year. 
Utility scale PV inverter specialist Advanced Energy Industries also reported quarterly results this week, which included record sales of 60.7 million US dollars, fueled by growing demand from the North American large scale commercial and utility markets. Solar energy sales were 20% above the previous quarter. Remaining in the downstream market, Phoenix Solar has amended its revenue expectations for 2012, with revenue expected to drop to between 150 and 170 million euros, well below previous projections of as much as 240 million euros. Challenging market conditions within Europe were said to be behind the lowered forecast. And finally, the Serbian government and Luxembourg-based investor Securum Equity Partners have signed a binding framework agreement for a one gigawatt PV power plant. The project has been known about for a year, but MX Group, the EPC contractor, announced that the 1.8 billion euro project would consist of 110 megawatt solar projects spread across Serbia. The official agreement was signed on October the 25th, with construction on the first 30 projects starting between April and December 2013. Anexia Energy will be the customer. That's it for this week. As always, you can keep up to date with all the latest via our Twitter feed. Thanks for watching and see you next time.